Chapter 11.1 Athena by Sky. Athena! I exclaimed, running over to her. I thought we'd never see you again. Ben joined me as Athena opened her arms wide. Oh, I've missed you too, she said, kissing us on the forehead. Me too, I whispered. And me, said Ben. Athena stroked his hair. My dearest grandson, she said. I'm so proud of you. Staring at me, Athena smiled. You still have your locket, she whispered. Of course, and I have a matching brooch. Jacks and Ben made it for me. After all your adventures, I thought you might have lost your locket, but instead you have a matching brooch. How wonderful. You know about our adventures. Angel keeps me informed. I smiled. Six flew over to us and wrapped her arms around Athena. Darling Six, said Athena. I remember you. What a dear girl. Six looked pleased. I'm seven now and I can fly, she said, shooting up into the air. So clever, said Athena, moving over to sit at the table. Jemima bounded directly onto the chair next to Athena and had barely said hello before she scoffed into the scones and spilled her tea, apologising and laughing all at the same time. I helped rescue Moat from the dragons, said Jemima. We didn't even know Moat existed, said Six, but shh, she's asleep. We led Athena to the mossy area where Blizzard had put Moat's cradle. Nestled under her blanket, Moat was sucking her thumb, blissfully unaware of any of us. Beneath her eyelids, her eyes were moving. She's having adventures in her dreams, said Athena. Good ones, said Six. Really good ones, said Jemima. It's her birthday. Again, said Six. We've had two birthdays in a row. Athena smiled. Of course you have, she said. You deserve it. What brave grandchildren I have. As we wandered back to the feast, Athena draped her arms around us. And Stella, said Athena. Hello, my lovely. Wonderful to see you, said Stella. Wonderful to see you, mimicked Jeremiah. You've met the girls, asked Athena. Certainly have. We should all sit down. I have an announcement, she said. Everyone turned to look at Athena. I've made a birthday cake. It's for Minnow as well. Stella, do you mind? Stella walked behind a neatly manicured hedge and returned with a huge golden tray. On it were five cakes making the shape of 11.11. Four long rectangles and one small round cake. Each of them was iced with chocolate and decorated with golden candles. There's one for Minnow, one for Sky, one for Jemima and one for Six, said Athena. And the dot can be for Moat, shouted Jemima. It's just right. Can we light the candles, asked Six. Of course, said Athena. Blizzard, I believe you do flames rather well. Blizzard grinned as he shot fire from his hands and everyone erupted into the happy birthday song. After we'd blown out the candles, Six and Jemima began cutting the cakes into slices. As we all sat eating, Stella nestled onto the seat next to me. Athena looked at me and asked, Has Stella told you about her surprise? No. What is it? I asked, wondering how many more surprises our birthday would bring. It's about you, said, said Athena. I looked at Stella. Me? Oh no, are you going to put us back together again? I felt suddenly nervous. I didn't know Stella very well, apart from dancing with her on the beach. I wasn't sure if I wanted her to put me together with poor little Six and Jem. They were going to be so upset, especially that when they were eating cake in heaven. My heart began to race. Angel, called Athena. Blizzard. Yes, said Angel. At your service, said Blizzard. 
I was just telling Skye about Stella's surprise, said Athena. Ah, said Angel, the best surprise of all.